Are the Children at Home by Margaret Elizabeth Sangster Read for LibriVox.org by April Gonzalez in Cavita, Philippines Each day, when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway the faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead, that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, we two are waiting together, and oft, as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, it is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they are all home long ago, and I sing in my quivering trouble, a song so soft and low, till the old man drops to slumber, with his head upon his head, and I tell to myself the number, at home in a better land, at home, when never a sorrow, shall dim the eyes of tears, with a smile of gorgeous on them, through all the summer years, I know, yet my arms are empty, that fondly fold at seven, and the mother heart within me, is almost starved for heaven, sometimes in a dusk of evening, I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies, the babes whose dimpled fingers lost their way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blessed. With never a cloud upon them, I see the radiant brows, my boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword seal the vows, in a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, when the flag they died for, thank God, floats over the grave. The breath, and the vision is lifted, away in wings of light, and again we two were together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears, he is only back with children, in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest. My husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer, with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. In the poem, this recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home? by Margaret Elizabeth Sangster Read for the people of org by Britannia Each day, when the glow of sunset fades into the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, Echoing by his strife, we two are waiting together, and oft, as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me. It is night. Are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they all home long ago. And I sing, in my quivering treble, a song so soft and loud, till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand, and I tell to myself the number at home in the better land. At home, whenever a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears, when the smile of God is on them through all the summer years, I know, yet my arms are empty that fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes, in the dusk of evening, I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies, the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, Pass to the world of the blessed. With never a cloud upon them, I see their radiant brows, My boys that I gave to freedom, The red sword sealed their vows. In a tangled southern forest, Twin brothers, bold and brave, They fell, and the flag they died for, Thank God, floats another grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted away On wings of light, and again we two are together, All alone in the night. They tell me his mind is fading, but I smile at idle fears, 
is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner. Say, well, as the children come, and I answer with eyes uplifted. Yes, dear, we are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home? by Margaret Elizabeth Sangster. Read for LibriVox.org by Cynthia Moyer. Each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, we two are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they're all home long ago, and I sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low, till the old man drops to slumber, with his head upon his hand, and I tell to myself the number at home in the better land. At home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears, where the smile of God is on them through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, that fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes, in the dusk of evening, I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies, the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blessed. With never a cloud upon them, I see their radiant brows. My boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword sealed their vows. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers, bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted away on wings of light, and again we two are together all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer, with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home? By Margaret Elizabeth Sangster. Read for LibriVox.org by Chiquito Crasto. Birmingham, Alabama. Each day, when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway, their faces fresh and fair, alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, Echoing boyish strife, we two are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they're all home long ago. And I sing 
in my quivering tribble, a song so soft and low, till the old man drops to slumber, with his head upon his hand, and I tell to myself the number, at home, in the better land, at home, where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears, where the smile of God is on them, through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, that fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes in the dusk of evening I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies, the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blessed. With never a cloud upon them, I see their radiant brows, my boys that I gave to freedom. The red sword sealed their vows. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted, away on wings of light, and again we, too, are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is fading, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children, in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, And the wee ones, tired of playing, Go trooping home to rest. My husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer, with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home by Margaret Elizabeth Sangster Read for LibriVox.org by Capricia Page Each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, And the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, And watch from the open doorway their faces, fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, Ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, We two are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, With tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, They're all home long ago, And I sing in my quivering treble, a song so soft and low, Till the old man drops to slumber With his head upon his hand, And I tell to myself the number At home in the better land, At home where never a sorrow Shall dim their eyes with tears, Where the smile of God is on them Through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, That fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes in the dusk of evening I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies. The babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blessed. With never a cloud upon them I see their radiant brows, my boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword sealed their vows. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted, away on wings of light, and again we two are together, all alone, in the night. 
They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones tired of playing go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children Home? By Margaret Elizabeth Sangster. Read for LibriVox.org by Ellie in August 2012. Each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones tired of playing go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, we two are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they are all home long ago, and sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low, till the old man drops to slumber, with his head upon his hand, and I tell to myself the number, at home in the better land. At home, whenever I sorrow, shall dim the eyes with tears, where the smile of God is on them through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, that fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost soft for heaven. Sometimes, in the dusk of evening, I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies, the babes whose dimpled fingers lost their way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blessed. Is never a cloud upon them, I see the radiant prose. My boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword sealed their woes. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breast and the vision is lifted, away on the wings of light, and again we two are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but a smile at idle fears, he is only back with the children in the dear, peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home? By Margaret Elizabeth Sangster Read for LibriVox.org by Florence Short Each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky And the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by I steal away from my husband asleep in his easy chair And watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, Ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, We two are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, With tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, They're all at home, long ago, And I sing in my quivering treble, a song so soft and low, Till the old man drops to slumber With his head upon his hand, And I tell to myself the number at home In the better land. At home where never a sorrow Shall dim their eyes with tears, Where the smile of God is on them Through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, That fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes in the dusk of evening I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies. The babes, whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, 
pass to the world of the blest. With never a cloud upon them, I see their radiant brows. My boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword seal their vows. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath and a vision is lifted away on wings of light, and again we two are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home? By Margaret Elizabeth Sangster. Read for LibriVox.org by Ginger Kukula. Each day, when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, we two are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they're all home long ago, and I sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low, till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand, and I tell to myself the number at home in the better land, at home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears, where the smile of God is on them through all the summer years. I know yet my arms are empty, that fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes in the dusk of evening I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies, the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blessed. With never a cloud upon them, I see their radiant brows, my boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword sealed their vows, in a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted, away on wings of light, and again we two are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home? By Margaret Elizabeth Sangster. Read for LibriVox.org. By Jenny Meisberger, Gikawa, Washington. Each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by i steal away from my husband asleep in his easy chair and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life ringing with girlish laughter echoing boyish strife we two are waiting together 
and oft as the shadows come with tremulous voice he calls me it is night are the children home yes love i answer him gently they're all home long ago and i sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand and i tell to myself the number at home in the better land at home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears where the smile of god is on them through all the summer years i know yet my arms are empty that fondly folded seven and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven sometimes in the dusk of evening i only shut my eyes and the children are all about me a vision from the skies the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast and the beautiful ones the angels passed to the world of the blest with never a cloud upon them i see their radiant brows my boys that i gave to freedom the red sword sealed their vows in a tangled southern forest twin brothers bold and brave they fell and the flag they died for thank god floats over their grave a breath and the vision is lifted away on wings of light and again we two are together all alone in the night they tell me his mind is failing but i smile at idle fears he is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years and still as the summer sunset fades away in the west and the wee ones tired of playing go trooping home to rest my husband calls from his corner say love have the children come and i answer with eyes uplifted yes dear they are all at home end of poem this recording is in the public domain are the children at home by margaret elizabeth sangster read for LibriVox.org by julian niedermeyer each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky and the wee ones tired of playing go tripping lightly by i steal away from my husband asleep in his easy chair and watch from the open doorway the faces fresh and fair alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life ringing with girlish laughter echoing boyish strife we two are waiting together and oft as the shadows come with tremulous voice he calls me it is night are the children home yes love i answer him gently they are all home long ago and i sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand and i tell to myself the number at home in the better land at home when never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears where the smile of god is on them through all the summer years i know yet my arms are empty that fondly folded seven and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven sometimes in the dusk of evening i only shut my eyes and the children are all about me a vision from the skies the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast and the beautiful ones the angels passed to the world of the blessed with never a cloud upon them i see their radiant brows my boys that i gave to freedom the red sword sealed their vows in a tangled southern forest twin brothers bold and brave they fell and the flag they died for thank god floats over their grave a breath and the vision is lifted away on wings of light and again we two are together all alone in the night they tell me his mind is failing but i smile at idle fears he is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years and still as the summer sunset fades away in the west and the wee ones tired of playing go drooping home to rest my husband calls from his corner say love have the children come and i answer with eyes uplifted 
Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home by Margaret Elizabeth Sangster. Read for LibriVox.org by Candace Stalick, Dallas, Texas. Each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky and the wee ones tired of playing go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband asleep in his easy chair and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, we two are waiting together, and off as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they're all home long ago, and I sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low, till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand and I tell to myself the number at home in the better land. At home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears, where the smile of God is on them through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, that fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes in the dusk of evening I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies. The babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blessed. With never a cloud upon them, I see their radiant brows. My boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword sealed their vows. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath and the vision is lifted, away on wings of light, and again we two are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children in their dear and peaceful years. And still as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones tired of playing go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home by Margaret Elizabeth Sangster Read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky and the wee ones tired of playing go tripping lightly by i steal away from my husband asleep in his easy chair and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life ringing with girlish laughter echoing boyish strife we too are waiting together and oft as the shadows come with tremulous voice he calls me it is night are the children home yes love i answer him gently they're all home long ago and i sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand and i tell to myself the number at home in the better land at home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears where the smile of god is on them through all the summer years I know, yet 
my arms are empty that fondly folded seven and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven sometimes in the dusk of evening i only shut my eyes and the children are all about me a vision from the skies the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast and the beautiful ones the angels passed to the world of the blest with never a cloud upon them i see their radiant brows my boys that i gave to freedom the red sword sealed their vows in a tangled southern forest twin brothers bold and brave they fell and the flag they died for thank god floats over their grave a breath and the vision is lifted away on wings of light and again we two are together all alone in the night they tell me his mind is failing but i smile at idle fears he is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years and still as the summer sunset fades away in the west and the wee ones tired of playing go trooping home to rest my husband calls from his corner say love have the children come and i answer with eyes uplifted yes dear they are all at home and a poem this recording is in the public domain the children at home by margaret elizabeth sangster read for librivox dot org by max sitting each day when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky and the wee ones tired of playing go tripping lightly by i steal away from my husband asleep in his easy chair and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life ringing with girlish laughter echoing boyish drive we two are waiting together and oft as the shadows come with tremulous voice he calls me it is night are the children home yes love i answer him gently they're all home long ago and i sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand and i tell to myself the number at home in the better land at home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears where the smile of god is on them through all the summer years i know yet my arms are empty that fondly folded seven and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven sometimes in the dusk of evening i only shut my eyes and the children are all about me a vision from the skies the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast and the beautiful ones the angels pass to the world of the blessed with never a cloud upon them i see their radiant brows my boys that i gave to freedom the red sword sealed their vows in a tangled southern forest twin brothers 
bold and brave they fell. And the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted away on wings of light again. We two are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years, and still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner. Say, love, have the children come? And I answer with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they're all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home? By Margaret Elizabeth Sangster. Read for LibriVox.org by Ovatia. Each day, when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by. I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife, we too are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, it is night. Are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently. They are all home long ago. And I sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low, till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand, and I tell to myself the number at home in the better land. At home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears, Where the smile of God is on them through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, that fondly folded seven, And the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes, in the dusk of evening, I only shut my eyes, And the children are all about me, a vision from the skies. The babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast, And the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blest. With never a cloud upon them I see their radiant brows. My boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword sealed their vows. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted away on wings of light, and again we two are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years, and still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, And the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest, My husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the Children at Home by Margaret Elizabeth Sangster Read for LibriVox.org by Ratandeep Satwan Singh, Jamshedpur, India Each day, when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, And the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair,
and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair alone in the dear old homestead that once was full of life ringing with girlish laughter echoing boyish strife we two are waiting together and oft as the shadows come with tremulous voice he calls me it is night are the children home yes love i answer him gently they are all home long ago and i sing in my quivering treble a song so soft and low till the old man drops to slumber with his head upon his hand and i tell to myself the number at home in the better land at home where never a sorrow shall dim their eyes with tears where the smile of god is on them through all the summer years i know yet my arms are empty that fondly folded seven and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven sometimes in the dusk of evening i only shut my eyes and the children are all about me a vision from the skies the babes whose dimpled fingers lost the way to my breast and the beautiful ones the angels passed to the world of the blessed with never a cloud upon them i see their radiant brows my boys that i gave to freedom the red sword sealed their vows in a tangled southern forest twin brothers bold and brave they fell and the flag they died for thank god floats over their grave a breath and the vision is lifted away on wings of light and again we two are together all alone in the night they tell me his mind is failing but i smile at idle fears he is only back with the children in the dear and peaceful years and still as the summer sunset fades away in the west and the wee ones tired of playing go trooping home to rest my husband calls from his corner say love have the children come and i answer with eyes uplifted Yes, dear, they are all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Are the children at home? By Margaret Elizabeth Sangster, read for LibriVox.org by Raven Notation. Two thousand twelve, RavenNotation.wordpress.com. Each day, when the glow of sunset fades in the western sky, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go tripping lightly by, I steal away from my husband, asleep in his easy chair, and watch from the open doorway their faces fresh and fair. Alone in the dear old homestead, that once was full of life, ringing with girlish laughter, echoing boyish strife. We two are waiting together, and oft as the shadows come, with tremulous voice he calls me, It is night, are the children home? Yes, love, I answer him gently, they're all home long ago. And I sing in my quivering treble A song so soft and low, Till the old man drops to slumber With his head upon his hand, And I tell to myself the number At home in the better land. At home, where never a sorrow Shall dim their eyes with tears, Where the smile of God is on them, through all the summer years. I know, yet my arms are empty, that fondly folded seven, and the mother heart within me is almost starved for heaven. Sometimes, in the dusk of evening, I only shut my eyes, and the children are all about me, a vision from the skies. The babes, whose dimpled fingers 
lost the way to my breast, and the beautiful ones, the angels, passed to the world of the blest. With never a cloud upon them, I see their radiant brows. My boys that I gave to freedom, the red sword sealed their vows. In a tangled southern forest, twin brothers bold and brave, they fell, and the flag they died for, thank God, floats over their grave. A breath, and the vision is lifted away on wings of light, and again we two are together, all alone in the night. They tell me his mind is failing, but I smile at idle fears. He is only back with the children, in the dear and peaceful years. And still, as the summer sunset fades away in the west, and the wee ones, tired of playing, go trooping home to rest, my husband calls from his corner, Say, love, have the children come? And I answer, with eyes uplifted, Yes, dear, they're all at home. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.